And when Jesus brought me into his light, when I, when I finally hit my knees, you know, I, I came to a place, I hit my knees and I cried out to the name of Jesus. And I said, Jesus, save me from my sins. I hate my life. Please change me. I want to kill myself, Lord Jesus. I need you to save me. I can do nothing without you, Jesus. We can't save ourselves. We can't turn away from sins ourselves. We need him. And sometimes all we got to do is let him know, we, I need you, Jesus. And by his riches and glory, he supplies all we need, don't he? Amen. And I'm just so thankful for that night I got that encounter. But I want to read something to you, brothers and sisters. When I, when I fell on my knees that night, I died. I died that day. I was planted and buried with Jesus. Therefore, I was raised to life with Jesus. You understand, as, the, as in the resurrection that night, I believed that he died on the cross, and I believed, and I cried to his name. I knew those things, and I believed in my heart those things. And I was raised to life that day, that night, and, and, and I was never the same. And I was in the power of his love, and I was in his presence, and I felt so different that night. And it was the power of God, the Spirit of God, that raised me in power, justified me freely. See, right here the Bible says, Philip went and told Andrew, okay, here we go. And Jesus answered them, and the hour came for the Son of Man to be glorified. But right here, verse 24 is what I want to read, John 12, 24. It says, truly, truly, I say unto you, unless a grain of wheat falls into the earth and dies, it remains alone. That night I fell into the earth and died. I hated my life, and I hated, and I didn't want to live in sin anymore, and I asked for forgiveness and cried out to Jesus and all those things in my heart. And I was raised to new life. You understand? And, 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 and believing that he died on the cross for my sins and that he was raised from the dead by the glory of the Father. And, and that's what raised me to new life and justified me freely that I may walk in the newness of life by the power of God. My faith is now in the power of God that preserves me from evil. Um, we are preserved in Jesus Christ from evil. See right here it says, unless a, unless a grain of wheat falls in the earth and dies, it remains alone. But if it dies, it bears much fruit. If it dies, it bears much fruit. That means when we're raised up, we're raised up by the glory of the Father. Hallelujah. Bearing fruit of his light springing up water filled with the Holy Ghost filled with the power of God when we truly surrender our lives to the Lord that's what happened I died and I was raised to new life so brothers and sisters when you come to Christ you surrender your whole life and you are buried with Christ and you are raised to the newness of life now you after the spirit now we're after the spirit we walk after the spirit being filled with the Holy Ghost is evidence that we are walking in the newness of life in Christ if we're not filled with the Holy Ghost, if we're not walking after the light and, and the light, he's not our father. We have to walk after the light for him to be our father. Hallelujah. Praise God. That Follow the light. Follow Jesus. So, you know, our father can be our father and the Lord can be our Lord. Hallelujah. Praise God. Whoever loves his life loses it. And whoever hates his life in this world will keep it for eternal life. The Bible says, God bless you all, brothers and sisters. I pray this bless you this morning. Whoever loves his life loses it. But whoever hates his life dies to it and, and loves the life in Christ. The one who dies to his life and, and comes to Christ is the one who lives in Christ. Do you understand? We are now dead and our life is with Christ in God. Oh, praise God. Amen. Set your affection on heavenly things. I pray each and every one of you have a blessed and wonderful day. Love you in the Lord. Praise the Lord. I love you, my brothers and sisters. We need to walk in truth. We need to know the evidence of us walking in it is being filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Set your affection on things above. We are now dead and our life is with Christ in God. Hallelujah. Praise God.